Ladies and gentlemen, McDonald Mariga is not a duly registered voter. Anybody disputing that is just playing cheap politics. According to our constitution, specifically Article 51B, it states clearly well who a registered voter is. The article states further that once a vacancy has been declared, there should be no electoral exercise including voter registration in that particular area. McDonald Mariga sought to be registered as a voter on the 26th of August 2019, almost two weeks after the Kibra seed had been declared vacant. That's contrary to the law. Some busy bodies are busy saying and saying that Mariga is a voter. They are even showing us some slips that this guy registered in Stare constituency. Let me say this. For you to be considered a registered voter, you must first of all, upon application, you must be gazetted and your name must be included in the voter's register. It's the voter's register that states whether you are a voter or not. Mariga's name is not on the voter's register. He is not a voter, therefore. His application can only be considered pending. Therefore, he is not a registered voter and he cannot contest for any seat. To contest for any seat, you must be a registered voter. That's the first thing. Mariga is not a registered voter. That's aside. In this channel, I've been stating categorically time over and time over that we have a group of politicians in this country that thrives on dividing us along ethnic lines. And we can clearly see that today in the ongoing Kibra by election campaigns. There is this group calling itself Tanga Tanga. Dear Kenyans, this is a group that with due honesty should be banned in this country. They are trying to flip the ethnic card that in Kibra there is this community that controls this percentage, there is this community. They want to mobilize the residents of Kibra on ethnic lines in order to achieve their political agenda. We must resist that. These politicians wants the people of Kibra who have lived together for all these many years together, they have suffered together, they know what ails them together, they want to divide this cohesive community along ethnic lines. They are even proposing ethnic candidates in order to drive this ethnicity agenda. We must resist and reject those leaders. And that's why I strongly believe that as good Kenyans of goodwill, we must all embrace handshake, for handshake aims at uniting all the communities together. We must resist this group calling itself Tanga Tanga. I can tell you Kenyans that these are typical examples of African bad leaders. First of all, all corruption allegations in this country, they are mentioned in all the mega corruption allegations in this country. We must re reject these people in totality. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this video, give it a like, but don't forget, please, to subscribe to this beautiful channel. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.